I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another tragic episode of Jonathan is Bad at Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. It has been brought to my attention by one of my viewers that I wasn't taking the game seriously enough during my Let's Play. I was making too many jokes at the expenses of the deceased, such as our dear friend, Reuben. So I vowed that this episode would be far different. I will put myself in the shoes of Jack Walters, which means that most of my commentary will, in fact, consist of saying things like, It's locked. And, It's unlocked. And, I'm not touching that and nothing of interest. However, I will also attempt to probe the depths of his mind, reacting to the situation as a, I can only imagine that Jack Walters would in this exact situation. In the meantime, just to prove how serious I am about uncovering the secrets of this case, I'd like to recap what we've uncovered so far. Six years ago, I was hired to investigate this cult that was in the middle of a shootout with the police in Boston. In the basement, I found terrible, terrible things, deceased bodies torn apart for some profane rituals. I found Reuben crucified and experimented upon through, the, through marvels of medicine that only a madman could conceive of. Rest in peace, Reuben. Six years later, I regained, after my ma after the madness that I experienced in the basement, I returned to being a detective for some reason that I can't quite recall. I don't. I was in. I was disassociating. I wasn't in my own body. So it's it's a really weird position to find myself in. But six years later, Arthur Anderson of National Grocery called me out of concern for his his general manager in Innsmouth, Brian Burnham. He's gone missing. In my dedication to resolving this issue, I traveled to the world, the land of Innsmouth. It's an island off the coast of Pennsylvania or some shit. The townsfolk there, they smelled a fish and they weren't particularly helpful. It was very odd. They pretended as if they knew nothing about him, but I had a, a deep suspicion that perhaps they were pulling my chain. Perhaps they knew more than they were letting on. Call it a gut instinct, but... I feel like they weren't being entirely honest with me. So, without the permission of the police, I snuck into their territory. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of territory. There was. I assume it was important there was a policeman there. And I, I infiltrated the area. And what I uncovered was a general store that I proceeded into the basement of. Uh, I destroyed private property using a ladder and now I find myself in an abandoned newspaper uh a newspaper printing press according to my notes yeah we'll go with that so that that should catch you up to where we are now if I have anything else important of note I'll be sure to include it in my investigative person journal but for now we need to get back to it Brian Burnham is possibly counting on us or possibly dead, but either way, we need answers. We need, we deserve answers. Or maybe he deserves answers, or maybe Mr. Anderson deserves answers. I haven't quite it determined. Won't open. Yes, it won't open. Frustrating. And possibly frightening, depending on the situation. If I were, if I were in need of a hasty escape, this door would not provide that exit. That's terrifying, to be surrounded by doors. General notices. None of which They're are noted. All dated 1846. Interesting. 1846. What happened here in 1846? General notices. They're all dated 1846. A lot, apparently. Enough to fill two desks worth of general notices. 
Fascinating stuff. I need to trigger this event because I didn't save and I had to play back up to this part. Now I am concerned here. Because my gut instinct is telling me that I can use these locks to throw off any pursuers. But why would I feel that way without a pursuer nearby? I'm sure that's nothing of interest. I must press onward. I wouldn't be doing... Oh. Holy Just, shit. Oh, I'm a little more emotive than that. Holy shit. Is that a... Is that a dead body? My god. Reprehensible. Who could have done such a thing? Exactly who the hell am I dealing with? I wasn't prepared for this. I need to make a note of this. Oh, hold on. Hold, hold on. May 2nd, 2022. While investigating the newspaper press, I discovered a dead body. I write in complete sentences and not shorthand, so this is going to take a minute. While investigating the newspaper press, I discovered, uncovered, discovered. Which one makes me sound more hard-boiled and cool? I undiscovered, okay. Somehow my brain did that, but that's okay. It's my notes, no one's going to read it. And quite frankly, I think that's the coolest way to word that, so. I undiscovered. Dead body? Now, whose? Who made this body? Besides God. Who killed God's body? The devil? Question mark? No, I'll know that later. I'm sitting back in my office deciding what to do with my life. If I ever have to go before a judge, we have a notation of that. <sighs> the work of a private investigator is just difficult. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. That's what I said. Okay. I'm gonna have to go. Nothing of interest here. It appears there's no one waiting in the shadows in this room, so I should be safe to investigate the body. Gotta be careful not to touch it because of evidence and all that. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Yes, my highly trained, my highly trained nose. The poor woman must have taken her own life. But who? She, she is the devil. I wonder what could have driven her to such a desperate act. I do wonder that. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. One of the things that got me through my interview at the police academy before I was fired and had to resort to private investigation was my ability to determine the time since death based on smell alone. That's the, that's the kind of experience that few men are capable of cultivating due to, due to the budge. inaccessibility of bodies at various stages of the decomposition process. The door's bolted shut. The door is no longer bolted shut. I'm free to open it. Life goes on. Except for that lady. It's gotten suspiciously quiet. I'm not a fan of the wind. Am I gonna have to run? Hello, Jack. Hello, suspicious stranger. You? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to start. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. 
New names spread fast. I can what see that. What are you that. doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? You know him? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. I'll be the they judge of that. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Hmm. Lucas Mackey. Hmm. Interesting. May 2nd. Outside the old newspaper facility. Ran into a suspicious stranger who identified himself as Lucas Mackey. Claimed to be some government factory inspector, but I get the sense that he's not all that he seems. Oh man. What was his boss's name? I can't recall. I never should have been in this business. God. Must be this Innsmouth air getting to me. I. It's affecting my memory. Creeping into the deep recesses of my brain and refusing to let anything stagnate there other than. Well, we won't get into that just yet. There should be a policeman patrolling these areas. I want to make sure that I'm not noticed. I wonder what Lucas Mackey's doing in this region. I wonder where the police officer is. Did Lucas Mackey scare him off? What would be so scary about a government factory inspector? The world may never know. Is the cop not out here any longer? I find that hard to believe. he's walking very quietly which based on my observations is not the case he must not be around anymore don't need to lift the don't need to look a gift horse in the mouth secret that no one should ever harbor, even if it is a harbor, which I'm not entirely sure that it is. I haven't seen any boats. Actually, I think I have seen a boat. Is this a harbor? What secrets is this harbor harboring? The plot thickens, and I am knee deep in it. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? I can't be seen talking to you. You wanna go to the back alley and talk to me? 
I'll talk to you in the back alley. Something's coming. Anything fought like this since... Since what? What's coming? I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. He worked in the First National. I'm a friend of the family. I ain't heard of the Burnham lad. Right. Right. I got you. Okay, well then I guess I'll be on my way. <sighs> it's just dead end after dead end after dead end. If it continues on like this, I'm afraid that I might meet my dead end. And then when, and then where will I be? And then when will I be? And then who will I be? I know it doesn't make sense, but I'm just compelled to ask questions. I am, after all, a private investigator. And there's nothing more private than the inner machinations of my mind. I, Jack Walters, with a brain the size of a walnut, ask questions far beyond that walnut, that walnut's breadth. That's what it means to be a private investigator. Letting your brain go beyond. When there's nowhere for it to go. It'll go somewhere. And that place... Is somewhere in the real world. In the business. We call those answers. But sometimes answers... Only harbor more questions. As I look out into the city of Innsmouth, the town of Innsmouth, the village of Innsmouth, I think to myself, what a wonderful day. The salt on the air, the cool night, the clouds. I wish I had, I wish I could stretch out my tentacles, flex them into the night air. Zarduk, my friend. What have you for me? If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty seven years in old Lady Warren's house. Before that over by the fishing canary. Can canary Old Lady Warren's? You live in the town poorhouse? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zedok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. Very well, Zart Zadok. I was saving this for later, but I suppose I could be convinced to part with it. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. May 2nd, outside of the bar. Ah, now you be calling me crazy. I received... Like them that's the rumor in an anchor in lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Uh -huh. ah, old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. Hmm. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, yeah. they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, mm. A party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. Uh. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. Swarms I don't of have what? time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. Was a massacre. 
The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy of strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. Dagon? What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Right. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. The key to the town's poorhouse. Boys, we must fight, but the winds will shower our See, Doc, I am trying to concentrate on putting my notebook away. If you don't, if you don't silence yourself, I'll have you arrested for public intoxication. Okay? You need to take my advice and head home immediately. Do not drive. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. You need to stand on your feet, Zadok. Come on, it's time to go home. I'll get you somewhere to sleep this off so you can wake up tomorrow and be another a functioning member of society once more. I'll have a word with the local constabulary. What a shame. Such a useful informant, if only he hadn't. Walters, I must speak with you. It's yeah. Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Yes, exactly. That, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. Oh, what? Many people. Who's Ruth? Quickly. We don't have much time. Ruth, you question. Follow me. I've got a follower. I don't know where she's leading me. Possibly Jack, back to my Innsmouth is a strange place. To devour my head. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. You're talking about strange. me? Strange. Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen. I guess you can call me strange. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever My you find God. One, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. Very well. Be on your way. See I've Mitch. seen that eye like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. How did she know that was there? Rebecca Lawrence, another mystery in the sea of mysteries. All right.
very well. I find myself lost. Where did I follow her to? I was at we I was already there. And yet I feel as if I am somewhere else. What mysterious powers does the sea winch hold over me? Rebecca Lawrence, I will remember that name. having daydreams. It must have been a trick of the light. I'm looking for Brian Burke. Please stop bothering me, stranger. College. It's like college, but with an H. Haberdashery. I already look too damn fine for a haberdashery. Besides, I'm a detective, not a fashion icon. Yes, I may trend sets. I may set trends. But no. I don't do it intentionally. I don't make a career out of it. I do things with my life. I solve mysteries. I speak to people. And make them feel uncomfortable with themselves and the world around them by asking questions. Questions that sometimes should not be answered, but should be, because the truth will set you free. I need to locate the poorhouse. The first national poorhouse. No, grocery store. Oh, I should have known. That makes more sense. Was it this door, perhaps? It appears to be shut down. Like a computer. Only I don't know what those are yet. It won't budge. Hmm. It's unlocked. The poor house. What awaits me in this... Oh. Monitor your logo? Okay. I'll try that next time. If I see you without fire, I'll report you to order. I'll not say nothing. I have a strange feeling of being watched. Mm. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Where is everybody? It's very quiet. Just leave me be, stranger. I can't believe that. It won't open. I just walked up to a woman and spoke to her as if she weren't a monster. Unbelievable. It won't budge. Unfathomable. Nothing of interest. It won't open. It won't budge. It won't open. Nothing on this street opens. In spite of there being so many doors, so few open. Is this the course that life took me? Or did I take this life into my course? Do you need any help? Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't help you. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. I'm 
not scared or anything, I just... My brain needs room to breathe with such limited space. Okay, I can't it open that open. door. It won't open. I should have known. Into the poor house we go. It won't let me shut the door. That does not bode well. Are these guys... <clears throat> Sorry. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. Who said that? What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Mm. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, feller? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. That Zadok Allen tells some wild tales. Aye, Zadok's a troublemaker, I tell you. If he weren't such a drunken old fool, the order have sorted him out before now. Thank God he's a drunken old fool then. Innsmouth must have an intriguing past. Innsmouth's a historic town, stranger. Plenty of history here. That is what historic means. Do you know anything about the robberies of the two stores in town? No. Can't help you there, fella. I can only tell you what I seen from this here window, and that ain't much of nothing. Do you know anything about the robberies of the two stores in town? No. Take care, friend. Can't help you there, fella. I got can mysteries only tell to you solve. what I seen from this here window, and that ain't much of nothing. You can see the alley below from this window. There isn't much to see from up here. Hmm. Nothing of interest, as it were. Nothing of interest. That's what I'm looking for. Nothing of interest. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. These beds reek of sweat and urine. Sounds like my kind of night. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. Nothing of interest here. I wish my sixth sense were... Her sleep is restless and erratic. I'll take my word for it. I get turned around in hallways. Uh The old woman's dead. She must have kicked it a week back or more. My train sniffer tells me so. There's no sign of a struggle, or any external injuries. The old woman's dead. It won't budge. It won't budge. 
Can't see anything of use. That's why you gotta use your hands. Sorry, I can't criticize myself. Posters are everywhere. Join the first church. Yes, the first one. That's what that says. Well, I made it to Dock Street. It won't budge. I guess this is a harbor town after all, huh? It won't budge. One less secret harbor. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks says no what's good for them are safely boat in their homes by now. Right. I appreciate your advice, young lady. Pardon me. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. Huh. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. I would like to go back out to the street. Thank you. It's blocked. I can't go that way. Jesus, those people have been ripped apart. My God. Dealing with. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? If you don't like Not gonna ask any questions about the ripped apart bodies. It'd be a bad move. Be a bad look strategically. Outsiders are hostile to me. They don't need to know. Nope. Nothing important here. They don't need to know. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. The house plant. Ramona. It won't open. It won't budge. It won't open. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. Chest of drawers. It won't open. It won't budge. Nothing of interest. Nope, nothing of interest. Nope. The door's bolted shut. It won't budge. Nothing of interest here. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and dad. A house plant. Right, but... It won't budge.
8 plus 1 chamber. Do I have a pistol? It doesn't appear to. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of it won't open. What exactly am I it's supposed to be important. looking open or it's looking over? Important. Probably nope, don't want to do that. Important here. It won't budge. It won't open. Oh. Oh no. I can't say that was my finest moment. I put little Ramona in danger. It's just how life is sometimes. You win some, you lose some. Looks like a diary. Hmm. Seems to be a diary of some sort. Innsmouth robbery. Missing manager accused. In yesterday's edition, we reported on a burglary at the recently opened First National Grocery Store in Innsmouth. The case took a new turn today as authorities in the town named Brian Burnham, the store's manager, as a suspect in the case. Burnham has not been seen since the robbery and is thought to have left the area. It is a very straightforward case, said Chief Constable Andrew Martin in response to inquiries by the, adver the advertiser. This young man simply robbed his employer and fled. I imagine he's out of the county now, if not the state. The chief constable dismissed concerns expressed by the First National Groceries Regional Manager, Mr. Arthur Anderson, that Burnham may have been kidnapped or injured. Seems pretty cut and dry. The last entry in the diary is from today. It reads, Another sleepless night. I lay awake listening to the movements of that thing that I married pacing about her locked room. Damn the esoteric order of Dagon, damn the oaths, and damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance, no, burning him, him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave, abandon my sham of a marriage, leave the store to rot and start a new life far, far away. But I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep in her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea of what she will become. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy, so much that I still use the month, day, and year as the four-number combination to my safe. In that order, starting clock. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Okay. I don't know why you would feel the need to write that down in your journal. But okay. I gotta regain my composure after that one. I can't believe how detailed the information they <laughs> <laughs> it would be one thing to just say that I use her birthday as the combination to my safe. But to go into such detail, I still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe in that order starting clockwise. Like, okay, write it down. Why don't you just write it in a numbered, a stepped list for me? Make it easy. I'm sorry. I want to apologize to Ramona Waite, to her mother. To everyone involved in this, to, to Reuben, I shouldn't have laughed. This is no laughing matter. My job is not to judge the notes of the people involved. I am not a judge. I am not a pin pusher. I am a detective. That should have not been nothing of interest, and yet here I am, laughing. I'm appalled by my behavior. I'm simply not serious enough. The stress must be getting to me in this small town of Innsmouth. Okay. It is as though I am trying to preserve that date forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me, but she is my daughter and I could never harm her. She is blameless in all this. When the time comes, Innsmouth will be the only place for her, and until then, I must stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement for creating her life with her chosen mother. After she joins them, if the grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. Tragic. It's tragic, Tom Waite. I'm so sorry you have to go through that. I don't know what that means. An old mattress. But I can't identify that this mattress is not new. Nothing of interest. And there is nothing left of interest in this room. Nothing of interest here. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly. Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with the crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe anyway? Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. It's own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. At Innsmouth, we handle things by the old ways. Thanks for that. Exposition. It's Ramona's coloring book. Huh. It appears to be a coloring book of Ramona. 
The drawings that fill Ramona's book are like things from a nightmare. It is hard to believe that a young child could imagine such horrors. There are pictures of strange, unnatural creatures crudely drawn but still able to provoke visceral feelings of revulsion. One of them is captured with the word, Mother. What can it mean? These profoundly disturbing images raise grave concerns about the girl's state of mind. Clearly, my conscious self, as I must play the part of the subconscious it won't budge. self. A house plant. Clearly, it won't budge. My conscious self has not quite pieced together it won't open. that the thing upstairs was Ramona's mother. It's tragic, truly. But it is what it is. It won't open. An old chest of drawers. It won't open. I would like a little more light. I take my sunglasses off, but I'm not sure that I would look as serious. So they it must remain. Budge. My vision must be as darkened as my soul after it having investigated open. this case and witnessing the death of a child. It won't open. It's no laughing matter. I find no enjoyment. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waite's off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I definitely was. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Whoa, how did you do that? She just disappeared into the shadows. Like a shadow. Within Innsmouth. This injury to my head has made it so that I can't quite remember how to use a bandage. So hopefully that was just, yeah, use the bandage, okay. Neat.
So I'm back here once again. What am I here for? Ah, yes. For the weight safe. Won't budge. That's not the one. <laughs> That's not the one, okay. We first need to figure out what we're doing. I'm completely unable to recall what led to my confinement in the Arkham Asylum or what happened to the six years between my two visits there. They tell me I had some kind of personality change that night in Boston. I think I read that already. I can't recall. Sorry, I don't mean to yawn. This is no boring matter. This is very important. I can't believe it. It won't budge. It won't open. It won't budge. These posters are everywhere. It won't budge. Hmm. I would like for it to be daytime now. It won't open. It won't budge. This is a variety store, so I'm inclined to believe that that is the area that I should be in. That's not the area that I should be in. It's unlocked. Nothing of interest. Oh, I have a hand. And that's just you don't look like your standard crook sweetheart Jesus you crazy sap who the hell are you Jack Walters private detective and considering your recent break in and entering how about I ask the questions have you any idea who I am no and I really don't care my family has influential contacts in the order so I'd advise you to mind your manners sir <laughs> I'm from out of town. The order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Mm. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth. The rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to rally. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. How am I supposed to know her birthday? How am I supposed to know her birthday?
I would like to back away from the safe so I can consult <laughs> so I can consult my diary. You seriously not gonna let me back away from the safe? Surely there must be a disengage button here. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I come to you tonight with a heavy heart. On the night of this recording, I accidentally lost the remainder of the footage. As it turns out, when I tabbed out to check for the code for this safe, I somehow managed to hit a hotkey that caused OBS to stop recording. So my options are to recap the events as they unfolded, which is not very entertaining, or to replay the game to retrieve the footage so that you can experience it as well. And that is what I've decided to do. Now, the bad news is, I'm not going to put on the fucking trench coat and sunglasses again. But the good news is, I got another fucking trench coat. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a Jack Walter, and I am here to solve the mysteries of Cthulhu. Thank you for joining me here today, where we will uncover the mysteries of whatever the hell is going on here. What's going on over there? What is going on over there? What is, what, what is that? Oh. Oh, real, that's real mature. That's real mature, Jack Walters. Look, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that right away. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that right now. You are a, uh, a primary source of information for me, actually. You are the protagonist of the game, so I'm gonna need you to uh, get the hell down from there right now, sir. Can you get down? Jack Walters? Who is also me? I am Jack Walters? Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jack Walters. Will the real Jack Walters please stop hanging himself and pull himself together so that I can pretend to be his inner monologue? Thank you. Out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I am Jack Walters. Never send a police officer to do a private investigator's job. Please evacuate the vicinity. Something Jack Walters is coming through. It is a private investigator's job to investigate privately, so I'll just sneak back here and investigate on my own while you guys go ahead and get shot up. You obviously don't know how to do your jobs. I believe there's something in here for me. I'm going to investigate thoroughly. It looks like there's a document here. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. It is, a, it is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. I don't think that my future is short or limited. I am Jack Walters, and by God, I am eternal. We've been expecting you, Mr. Walters. But you weren't expecting that, I were you, buddy? This think. I, Jack Walters, I can't comprehend think. pictures of my own face, for they are too great even for me, Jack Walters. Hello, it is me, Jack Walters. Yes, nothing of interest, or everything. This is the All most interesting room in the house, actually, now that me. I think of it. I was going to say nothing of interest, that's one of my taglines. But actually, I find this room very interesting. Look at the cut of that man's jaw. That's me, Jack Walters. What a man. What a man. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. I, Jack Walters, am capable of identifying strange sounds. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Oh, damn, speaking of beams falling and crushing skulls, am I right? Damn, damn, damn. Oh, uh, what a figure. What a guy. Reminds me kind of of my ex-wife, uh, Jacqueline Walters, as it were. Jackie Walters. The anyway. crystal's still warm. I bet it is. I'd be warm, too, if I were being cradled in the strong, capable arms of Jack Walters. I am... Jack Walters. Jack Walters is here. Pardon me. This is my identifying stance. When people take pictures of me, it's always like, who is that man? It's Jack Walters. Jack Walters is there. Jack Walters has some funny initials because, you know, JW. He's an investigator. Why does he investigate? He's just wondering. The damn game crashed. Are you fucking kidding me? My dedication to this shtick has got to be through the fucking roof. I didn't even save, man. It's too hot to pick. 
pick up. Oh, oh, shit. I did it anyway. Stop you, Jack Walters. It's Thank you for that calling kind of Jack Walters. I'm kind of in the middle um, of being amazing right on. now. Oh, what can I help you with today, sir? You've reached the offices. Oh, Jack Walters, please call back again sometime. Please. Sometime. Not now, but some other time. What exactly? Just wondering. You know who I am? His name, Jack Walters. Uh, ring a bell for you. Because I. This is it, stranger. Head to the line. I'm Jack Walters. Is this how you treat? Local celebrities because I gotta let you know I'm, I'm quite the private investigator I am the Jack Walters and I have come to solve all of your problems don't worry about it I'll I'll get to the bottom of this friend I Jack Walters will in fact get to the bottom of this friend Jack Jack Walters Jack Jack Walters, Jack. Looks Jack, like the door Walter, was forced Jack, open. Jack, and there's Walters, scratch There's a Walters, bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Jack Walters. Jack Walters. Walters. Jack Walters. Jack. Jack Walters. Jack. Jack Walters. Jack. Jack Walters. Sneaking through the basement. Falling down. Big hole. More like Jack Florters, am I right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna show you why they call me Jack Walters by throwing a ladder through the wall as if it were nothing. Here it comes, are you ready? Brace yourself, Jack Walters, ahoy. Man, oh man, I sure do have guns. For a man who's unarmed, these guns sure are steaming. I am Jack Walters, thank you for asking. The walls have collapsed. A nice day. Hey there, Brad, good news. You can officially say that you've hung out with Jack Walters. Well, let me autograph your hand there. Uh, yep. There you go. Uh, tell your friends. They don't appear to know who I am. For some reason. In spite of the fact that I've been running around screaming that I'm Jack Walters the entire time that I've been here. Suddenly I feel as if I'm not Jack Walters. Why can I not be Jack Walters? Sorry, stranger. The name sir is jack walters remember it people here unfathomably dumb fish like in their own little bubble it's disgusting when jack walters rolls into town you roll with him you do not roll against jack walters They'll put you in your place like the motherfucker you are. I gotta say, this is great. I love that all of the cutscenes are unskippable. This is a time period that I wish I could go back to. My name's Rebecca Lawrence. I am Jack you want to join Walters. It is nice to meet you, I urge you to Rebecca follow me. Lawrence. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Are you talking Trust about me? me? I get the I'm impression that you're strange. talking about me, but dang, that remains to be seen. Boy, are you mistaken. But Let I me can tell help you. you. I, my father, Jack discovered this okay? strange sign. Have you ever read the newspaper? Jack Walters it is usually in anywhere, it wherever he goes. All right. In so foul and reeking are Whenever you find one, very, you very, very rude to, to I, Jack Walters. Now I, I will never mate with you if you continue this discourse in this manner. All right, I know that's what you're after. I you see a man, I like a well-dressed man before, in a hat, asking never questions in spite of the apparent danger, and you think to yourself, man, that guy sure does get the Walters jacket. You know what I mean? So, if that's what you're after, what you really need to consider is how you're coming across when you call that man foul and reeking. He is a national treasure, all right? His name is Jack Walters, and maybe next time, you'll keep that in mind. Dame, broad, and hag? Too far? Well, maybe you should think about that. All right, it doesn't feel good to be insulted, does it? Lady, 
Well, yeah, that felt a little better, didn't it? Lady, miss, <laughs> well, what if I called you broad all the time? You wouldn't be foul reeking stench of a, a female. Like a fish. Hey, lady, you smell like a trout. You know, don't feel good, does it? You gotta think about that before you go talking to old boy Jack Walter that way, all right? I don't wanna hear that coming from you ever again. The only time you should ever be it's describing unlocked. me is large and in charge and ready to take on the world with nothing but a handful of moxie and a pocket full of guns. I don't actually have a gun at the moment, but I do have a syringe of morphine. If you're looking at a strange come back to my place and you know, inject some morphine into your veins. That's not a euphemism of any sort. I have a I have a syringe of morphine and I am prepared to inject it into your veins. I am Jack Walters. That is what I do. You hear me? Okay, I'm just checking. Excuse me, poor people. I don't mean to intrude. It's just me, Jack Walters, local celebrity. No big deal. Uh, I have a lot of money. I have a lot of fortune. Uh, uh, definitely more than you guys. Uh, maybe not the most impressive amount of money, but still pretty up there. Enough that you shouldn't call him foul and reeking. You know what I mean? Enough that you should show him a little respect because he might decide to pad your coffers. Uh, Jack Walters is a gentleman who cares for the poor, all right? You need alms? A fair woman? No. A fair lady of the night? I interest you in some alms. No? Uh, you know who I am, don't you? I am Jack Walters, all open. right? You should come back here immediately and accept my coffers. You'll need them. Just judging by uh, your entire situation, what's going on here, uh, you're going to need my alms, all right? So you just, when I come back out of the house, I expect you to be on your hands and knees with a cup begging for Jack Walters to give you alms. Okay? I don't see that. You're going to die Hello, in the gutter. Little lady. Hi, sir. Of starvation, probably. Are your parents at home? Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. Not a I think it was big out enough of bang, a if you know what I mean. How about I that morphine? You, you want a little bit Use of morphine? Them on your head. I got some help morphine. Let's go back to my You're not using room. too much blood. And inject morphine. You won't need a... Stop. It's me, Jack Walters. I guess continue on your business is not really any of mine, I guess. It won't open. Now just as a quick refresher, let's see what this little puzzly deal was, right? We got the journal. So today It's February 6th, 1922. And this says, or was it? Okay. And this says, yesterday was her 10th birthday. So February 6th, it's going to be 10, which is February 12th. No, 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 no. It is February 5th, February 6th, 1912. So it's, oh, it's 2, 6, 12, starting whatever direction You don't look like is. your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap. Who the hell are you? Jack Walters. Private detective. And considering your recent Walters. break in and entering, 
How about Fire I ask the questions? Thanks for asking. Have you any idea and who, who I am? Pray tell, are no? you? Because my, my, really don't compared care. to some of the other my folks around here, you sure are quite the looker. The order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, Can manner, I interest sir? you in some morphine? I'm from out of town. The order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Two. Six. One. Two. Nope. Two. No hill. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so we're at zero. Start anti clockwise, right? Counterclockwise. Two. Six. One. Two. There it is. Okay. Yes, that's it. It is it. Okay, so now we're back. We are now back. And we're gonna. Take the journal. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words Book of Dagon. Okay, actually, you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna play up to the section that I got to before it auto saved. And then I'm gonna carry on from that file because I didn't pick anything up in this playthrough. So her, here's the footage of the sections that you guys missed out on. Actually, factually, I'm not entirely sure Nothing you missed interest. out on a whole much. Because I, I, <laughs> I think I just... It won't I think open. I just, why did I go through all this? I think I just leave this place. <laughs> I think I just leave this place and go to the hotel. I don't think anything else happens. What was I thinking? What was I thinking that I went through? Your guess is as good as mine. It won't budge. Okay. Well, one, I can unlock it from in here, I would assume, but that's beside the point. What is going on with the... What kind of animal is that? I don't know. I don't know what kind of animal that is. I can't tell you. It's getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Pardon me, sir. I'm Jack Walters. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, I literally go to the hotel and get a room. Oh, okay. There is a little bit more. I remembered it. I go in the hotel. Leaves. I go in the hotel. Talk to Gilman. This whole thing happens. We're still doing this number here so he can see me. What happens if I... Okay, it's directly behind me. Is that what it is? No. I must be looking at someone else. Okay. So I go and I talk to Mr. Gilman. Did you hear? Wait, killed it. Pardon me, sir. Hi. I interrupted that My name's Jack Walters. My apologies. Just I'm Jack Walters. You I'm don't say, visit. sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. Uh, do you have board you for the know? night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great, great. I'll take a room, please. Great. That, that sounds just swell. That sounds killer. That sounds like the bee's knees. I, Jack Walters, accept your invitation to stay for free in this here establishment. Please hey, furnish you me a right key. You there, sir? You're starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. Oh, I, Jack Walters, see ghosts all 
all the time. Well, thanks I'm for noticing. Fine, thanks. It's just the it's part of my whole detective shtick. My it part of my private queasy. eye persona yeah, is that I speak to the dead, not for your outsiders. and they provide me with information. Uh, in the 90s and early 2000s, you may discover that there is a Excuse show me, about me, you know, Jack Walters, like called about. The Psych. I'll be right back with you shortly. But the character won't be named Jack Walters. It'll just be a similar premise based on me because people don't think I actually discuss with spirits. You know, they think I'm making it up because I'm just such a great detective. They think I have obsessive compulsive disorder or a photogenic memory or something. But I assure you, I speak to the dead, and soon to be dead, and you know, long deceased, from the future. It's the key to That's the back That's how I know office. these things in 1922, because I am Jack Walters, and that is it's how unlocked. I do. Nothing that is, of interest in fact, here. how I be. Can't see anything of use. Great, all of the doors are open. Pick up some ammunition. I pick up the book. What was the book? I don't remember. I love you, BB. Mm hmm. And that's right. She were a lively one, and no mistake, I kept her going as long as I could for the music she were making. Oh, sorry, that's not Jack. That's not Jack Walters. I'm in the Jack Walters character. I gotta read it like Jack Walters. But I gotta, okay, maybe not how Jack Walter, I gotta read it like this guy wrote. She were a lively one, and no mistake, I kept her going as long as I could for the music she were making. Such a pair of lungs, and after she were done, I found those lungs on her look as good as they sound. Maybe I'll keep them. Her liver was particular sweet as well. See, I don't know what kind of accent it is. I'm kind of in this weird. You put the coat on me and suddenly I just I talk like this. I can't escape it. I'm trying to do some kind of like backwaters accent. I I'm stuck in this one. It's just a huge coming. Well, may I, I never wanted to go to New York. But if they all talk as much as this one, I reckon I ain't miss as much. Soon as he woke and saw the knives, he was away and talking and pleading and bargaining for his life. All them words made me dizzy and I had to take his tongue first to stop him. In future, I better wait a while after they eaten dinner for his innards staying awful. The bones was nearly all out before he died. I was real careful around the artery so as he didn't lose any more blood than could be helped and he lasted a lot longer for it. The flesh moved on its own as he tried to work his arm, but with no bones gone. But with the bones gone, there wasn't nothing he could do. Just, just twitch. I took it out the strap so it could move free, and I watched. The new gag worked, worked much better. He was more quiet than the last. That certainly is interdasting. Thank secrets you for that. Oh, I guess I can. Book holds. I don't know what secret the book holds, but that reminds me, I do need to read the Book of Dagon as well. That's not the Book of Dagon. This book. This book is hand. No, now I'm not in the Jack Walters accent. Hold on. I am Jack Walters. I'm Jack Walters. I am Jack Walters. This book is handwritten and heavily bound. Its cover is embossed with the title The Book of Dagon. It seems to be a religious work translated from a series of ancient tablets. It tells of an entity called Dagon, apparently some kind of sea god, and his consort Hydra. They are the greatest of an underwater race called the Deep Ones who worship them with sacrifices and other rites. The descriptions of these sacrifices are particularly shocking and there are details of magical spells and other strange rituals. If this incredible manuscript is to, believe, is to be believed, their history stretches back beyond the remotest human origins into unthinkably remote antiquity. A few individuals are so incredibly old that they have seen continents rise and fall, for they do not die of old age as humans do. Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are such individuals, and are greatly revered for their age and size. They are girthy boys, let me tell you. Their greatest awe, however, is reserved for a dark god named Great Cthulhu, who is said to sleep and dream in the underwater city of Rilea. The... <laughs> 
Do you actually believe in C Cthulhu? <laughs> yeah, I really uh, I really uh, do. The book seems incomplete. The last chapters tail off as though the translation has not been finished. I, Jack Walters, volunteered to finish this translation because I'd be sitting around the office anyway. That's kind of my thing, is I sit around the office and find things to do instead of that. Regardless of how capable I am of committing such acts. So, if you need a book translated from an ancient language unknown to man, if you just Jack follow Walters me, sir, is your guy. I'll show you to your lodging. Jack Walters. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. He Kate did had to tell not her blood, they says. And had to be dragged he away. He did not do that. Screaming and crying. I was there. I reckon there'll it's be locked. a lynching for what he done. Yeah, probably. Probably will do that. I'll let you know. Oh, I did grab that key. What am I doing? I grabbed the key. That's how I got into the room. And here I am forgetting that I grabbed the key. This man. Okay, we are about to reach the destination. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. And keep down the racket. Us in Smith are quiet folk. That's all. Great. Now there's actually a little bit of an interesting puzzle going on here in which you gotta bolt the doors to feel safe because if you try I to go to sleep, you don't feel safe going to sleep. Don't feel safe going to sleep yet, I don't. My, my, I certainly do not feel safe today. So the process that I uncovered was, you lock that door, because these rooms are joined. Actually, what do you do there? Oh, okay, there's a secret door there, you don't leave through these three doors. That's what I figured out. He won't push this just yet, in case you're curious, so I don't actually know what's back there. I just know that that's where I have to go. And to first feel safe, I must close this door and lock it. And then Better. I can go to sleep. Not exactly safe, but the best right. I'm going to get in this infernal town. Alright, and this is where I called it quits for the night, but I'm kind of curious as to what's behind that bookcase. So as a service to you, I am Jack Walters, a river to my people. We'll figure this out together. Early evening. Innsmouth turned out to be more dilapidated, depressing, and unwelcoming than initially expected for a local celebrity like I. Jack Walters, hero of the Arkham Asylum. The stench of rotten fish fills the air while poverty and disease lie festering in every cobbled back street. I only visited a couple, but I assume it's everywhere. Only a few of the inhabitants have been at all cooperative. The others are evasive and sometimes downright hostile. Okay. My detective's instinct tells me they're trying to hide something. Of course, I could simply be prejudiced by their look and manners. They're almost ugly enough to get me believing those local tales of Innsmouth taint. Boy, I, Jack Walters, would sure love to see some Innsmouth taint. You know what I mean? If Gilman would just bend over and reveal his Innsmouth taint to me, I would be... It'd be like a free sushi bar. It would be free hour at the sushi bar. You know what I mean? I'd be slurping that up, man. That fishy Innsmouth taint. Even so, I've been able to make some progress. Finding Ruth Billingham was a lucky break. She convinced her, she conv she's convinced Loverboy is still in one piece and being held in the town jailhouse. We shall see. Rebecca Lawrence is clearly afraid of something. She doesn't come across as the type that scares easy, but then again, I guess she's not afraid to leave. Afraid enough to leave. She seems more worried about me, Jack Walters. It's quite flattering, even though she did call me. <clears throat> What were the words? Something along the lines of repugnant, but you know, he gets a picture. Then there's Zadok Allen, the old rummy. He was willing to talk all right. I wish I knew whether he turned to drink because of what he saw, or whether he saw things because of what he was drinking. Possibly a combination of two. The Order of Dagon has some... The Order of Dagon, some heathen religion brought back from the South Seas by Obed Marsh. Rituals on Devil's Reef? Reef? 
Those who wouldn't join massacred by some kind of monsters in 1846 is all so far-fetched. But what else could explain the thing that charged out from Thomas Waite's attic? If I hadn't spoken with Thomas himself, I'd be sure I was seeing things. Whatever's really going on, this place gives me the creeps. The dreams are becoming stronger. I seem to spend each night in weird, fantastic landscapes with immense buildings like no architecture I've ever seen. It's non-Euclidean geometry, guys. That's every horror video game. When they have visions, it's non-Euclidean geometry. I'm, I'm quoting specifically Amnesia of the Dark Descent when you touch one of those things. It tells you non-Euclidean geometry. That is the horror staple, all right? And begin... <clears throat> Sorry. And my body in the dreams. It's so strange, I can't begin to describe it. Maybe it's some buried memory of all the occult stuff I studied when I wasn't myself. When I wasn't Jack Walters. And the spooky vision thing is acting up worse than ever. It used to be I could kind of see what people were thinking sometimes, but now it's going crazy. It's like someone's watching me all the time, tracking me from the rooftops and from the shadows. The damn paparazzi after their boy, Jack Walters. I'm so edgy I can hardly think straight. If only I could get some decent bourbon in this miserable town. I need to track down Brian Burnham and fast. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I'll make an early start in the morning. And my question is, why did he not mention Lucas Mackey? That guy kind of stood out. Or what about that guy's boss? Whatever his name is, Marsh. Jacob Marsh was his name, I believe. I mean, I don't know. I'm no detective. I'm just Jack Walters, the private investigator, here asking the real hard-hitting questions. Like, why do it be that way? Why have we not? The great city the of Nakotas. Jack, you are safe. I am safe. I'm always safe. What I'm Jack Safe Jack? Walter Safety. Where are you by the We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand them in time. I. Which one of you is Gilman? Where have you put the outsider? Top of the house, room 401. Come on, let's have him. It seems your boy Jack Walter is in danger in spite of that man telling us how safe we were. I am feeling increasingly less safe as time wears on. But no matter, I am in fact Jack Walters and this poses no threat to me. So obviously we already have a plan of action. Okay, well, I did have a strategy, but then it just kept going, so we're going to try that. Actually, I should load the game from the other save file while I'm at it. That was pretty funny. I don't know why, <laughs> why I didn't expect it to keep going, but my just plan of action was rapidly down. dissipating. I expected to go in that room and be safe for some reason. Take the keys. Curse 
It's locked. Probably bolted on the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. I do want to check and see. Probably no time to be checking the journal here, but. The diary of Jack Walters. Yeah, so there should be something in there. And definitely there. I reload the game. Can I load game? Probably this one. Pardon me. We're going to play that one more time for the people in the, the back. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words book. Okay, that was Good three days ago, though, so... Okay, so this does have all of my things. But for some reason... It did not allow me to continue from where I left off. So I yet again have to play through a host of cutscenes. I'm having a time. It's getting time. late. I better start making tracks. The quest for I the don't perfect much fancy through. spending the night in this hole. Did you hear Wake killed his own daughter? His own flesh and blood? Damn shame. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I seen Elliot dragging him off, caked in blood he was. Aye, but Birch reckons she were ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would that be the strange fella you brought into Innsmouth a couple hours back? You guys talking yeah. about me? Jack Walters? I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Bacon there. You can cough later, can dude. Let's go. About. Break the door down, you damn fool. Quick! I see him head. Don't let him do it. Check the door. Alright. I'm not a fan of this slow ass bookshelf pushing. Really good job on the atmosphere though. I feel like that's not exactly the best option. Nope. Oh, I'm out of here, buddy. Oh, am I supposed to crouch here? Yeah, that's probably a wise idea. What the fuck? Why are they here, dude? Where am I going? What is Break going on? Down. What is going on with the frame right now? I'm re I'm really confused. What the fuck? Is after him. Some people downstairs. I'm not having. It.
You're joking right now. You're actually gonna make me do that whole sequence again? How fucking long is that thing, buddy? Ain't no auto saves, huh? You're really gonna make me go through all that again, alright? I got this part down. I that door. Scoots this one out of the way. I think it's until I see the doorknob. And once I get that sweet, sweet doorknob, I can open it. Bolt it. Come on over to the next one. Bolt it. Do not. Do not collect two million dollars. I don't know how far I've got to push this one. Maybe until you see the frame. I would feel comfortable just having seen the frame. Yeah, there we go. That's probably good enough, right? And then we scooch on out of this one. It's got to be off of the window before I can open it. You don't got him. He's made his escape. Stop! He crouches down to avoid the bullets because he is Jack Walters and nothing stops Jack Walters. He's too damn good. Okay, windows are done. I think we're supposed to head out this way. I don't know why that guy spawned from there. He doesn't appear to be there now. There's a guy down there so we don't go that way. telling me I don't make that jump? I do make that jump. I don't go up, obviously. Why would I go up? I definitely don't go down. Maybe I do go up. <laughs> I do go up after all, it turns out. It won't I actually... I see him. It won't budge. It won't budge, huh? Okay, I'm going down this way. Stop shooting him. Uh-oh. See the flashlight? Very good cue. Very good visual cue. A place I do not want to be. Spotlight's probably not. This is a stealth game? What am I doing here? Oh, he's following me up the ladder. That's no good. Okay, we go down the ladder. Might crouch down here. Oh, shit. Ah, please stop with that. Shit. I mean, what do you do? They heard that. Spread out. Search the area. Kill him. What, they found me? What the hell? I'm, I'm confused about what I'm supposed to be doing here, and they're going to make me redo the whole thing, I bet you. Oh. Oh. He's oh. here. It won't hey. Him. What do you mean? It won't budge. It won't budge? Oh, okay, great. I thought that Get might him. be the case, Stop and that's why him. I had this second escape. Don't Let me check that out. I did disappear into the shadows because I am Jack Walters. You heard it once. I am not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'll be honest. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm out here. We really do be out here, though. Doing something. We do have a plan. That plan is to avoid gunfire for as long as humanly possible. We don't want to restart this fucking level. I'm already gone, buddy. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude, you can't. This is, this is unfathomably annoying. I, I Just cannot, the noise down. I cannot process what is happening Here, right now. Take the keys. Curses. <laughs> it's locked. Probably bolted on the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. It's starting to wear Quick, on Jack Walters. Let away. me tell you, that's for sure. I don't understand what the shift does. Let's 
certainly does not be what I like. That's for sure. He needs to be opening the door, thank you. You don't have him. Jack Walters has escaped yet again. Can't shoot, but you can't see, motherfucker. Jack Walters out of this bitch. He's up there. Go up the stairs. It won't budge. He's going across the roof. Once you know the escape sequence, it's not so bad, but they really do a good job of making you say, Where the fuck am I? Now, is this, a, I'm confused as to whether or not this is supposed to be a stealth thing. definitely say we can definitely save here that's good so you can make it a self a stealth game but what is the deal they lull you over there with a health pack is that what I saw do I have the option of taking the health pack or not being noticed yeah I cannot go that way I'm to think of it. I don't know if I actually took the health pack the first time. In sneak mode, you will be less visible to enemies. Try to use sneak mode to assess the route ahead and study enemy patrols. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I think they just stand there, right? Ooh. Oh, fighter, stop! Oh shit! Kill him! Now it didn't have to be this way. Come on. I lost him. Yeah, you did. Yeah, going back to your position. He's over there. Get God him. bless it. How about we load this bitch because <laughs> attack of the fisherman? That does not sound at all scary. Okay, we are crouched. Crouching confirmed. here we seem to be out of that guy's line of sight but where'd that other fella get to he's fucking off in that direction oh he pulls his flashlight out This way, huh? Obviously, I need to.
I don't know. I like, I don't know what you want from me. Ah, uh, that was my big plan. That was my big plan. That's what I had. That's what He's I want. Kill him. They seem to be able to find me better than I'm able to avoid them. It's just trim. I thought it was maybe a document. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, I thought I was observing pretty carefully what I was supposed to be doing, but it did not appear to be the case. Look down there for now. I'll be honest, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Am I supposed to jump across there? What's the deal? What in the shit is the deal? I was planning on being in bed by now. I really didn't suspect this would be this challenging of a uh, puzzle here. Yes, use. Yeah, I will do that. Thank you. Okay, he's gone that way. I, I don't know. He went the other way. I thought I was good. I wasn't good. That's the extent of what I understand. I should have been fine. I wasn't fine. Kill him. I don't see any other exits but this window here, so I'm assuming this is still the correct window. Don't let it get away. Where am I going? He's going up that way. What is? What the hell is going? Okay, I I I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on. I wish I could tell you, but I'm at a loss at this point. I am thoroughly at a loss. Like sneak mode. Great. I'm in sneak mode. Sneak mode engaged. Why am I here? Where am I trying to get to? So I guess I would want to wait for that guy to be f walking away. So he's going to walk back this way. That was the wrong time to make the move is what I'm anticipating here. I want to be when he's walking in the direction that I'm going. See, This is not the time to go because he'll see you when he flips back around. What you want to do is wait until he gets his, not directly behind him, but like diagonally behind his flank. Should be, I would hope. Right now, see? And then he turns, he whips around with his flashlight. You don't want to be there for that. That's supposed to be the uh-oh moment. doesn't get you. That's when you... He's here! Ah, oh, shit! Kill him! Don't open. Stop! Don't let him get away! Get him! Not entirely sure who they're shooting at or where, but I'm also still not entirely... Dude, this edge. What is with the collision on this shit, dude? Okay, great. I'm being shot at. I assume I'm not climbing back up on the roof because that would be actually stupid. Don't 
Don't let him get away. What am I doing up here, man? What's the end game? I'm getting oh, shot. I'm injured by something. Oh. Oh. How did I miss that the first time? Am I blind? Possibly just dumb. Jeez, Louise, are you okay, buddy? Let's patch ourselves up. It looks like we took a hit. I don't want to bleed out. <laughs> no need to heal those bruises and scrapes, my friend. You're fine. Well, that certainly was something. They lost them off the roof. It's got to be somewhere in there. Spread out. Start the floor. He's hiding somewhere. hole in the floor they wanted me to notice. Of course, I'm not entirely sure. Is that it over there? I can't see. At any rate, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remember, the failure is not the worst case scenario to go on with your bad selves and stay awesome. I will see you next time where we will hop out of this vent and brave our lives into to the mysteriousness of the fish people walking around you know kind of like a shark tank with with like overweight rednecks or something that's pretty dangerous right sounds pretty dangerous i wouldn't get in a tank filled with uh shotgun wielding rednecks and and fish it's unpleasant you know pretty shitty not my scene at any rate I will catch you guys later. Thanks again.